Selena Gomez's ex-best friend came forward again and is trying to expose her. Let's talk about it. Selena Gomez is finally setting the record straight on her alleged feud with her friend and kidney donor, Francia Reiza. I will never, ever, ever be more in debt to a person than Francia. Selena and Francia's friendship went through many ups and downs over the years, and Selena was recently accused of abandoning Francia after Francia seemingly suggested Selena guilted her into giving her a kidney. Uh, all right, so TMZ has reported, I'm gonna throw up the article right here, front page at the time of making this video. Selena Gomez organ donor Francia called her out for drinking after kidney transplant. Now listen, this is something that I've heard murmuring in the background for such a long time. So for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Selena Gomez had a best friend and it was Francia. And uh, here's some proof that she, I'm gonna throw up a photo, they're together in this hospital bed and for those of you who are shook by it all, it's right here. They're in the hospital bed, holding hands. And this photo went viral. I remember I, w I had checked into like, uh, like Universal Studios and I saw it on TV. It was like world news at one point. It was talk of the town. The fact that Selena Gomez received an organ, which at the time was very, very popular. And I think, was it because of lupus she needed it? Or, or I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not, you know, y'all can let me know in the comments down below, right? Oh my gosh, we have so much to talk about. Vance Global is at it again. They are in the factory and they have basically came out with even more stuff, something new. I have three new products to show you and I'm really excited. Now, again, if you don't know, Vance Global is a small company doing big things out of Wisconsin, and they got started in 2018. Now, you may have heard of them. They're practically in so many stores now, a lot of smoke shops and things of that nature. So I'm gonna show you what they got. This is the new HHC by Vance Global. Now, you may have tried HHC before, but Vance Global, I'm telling you, they have really good ingredients because you get to know what's inside of what you're getting. You can head over to their website. Their stuff comes with diplomas and check it out. So thank you Vance Global for sponsoring this video. Let me show you what they got. This is the HHC gummies in 400 mg. I'm gonna open it up for you so you guys can see what it looks like, but that's it. The gloves coming off because, you know, if you're stressed out the house, Try this and listen. You might say, oh, I already use this other stuff and I like it. Girl, you haven't tried Vance Global, okay? It'd be like that. People always be, oh, you know, the stuff, I, I use this other stuff and I like, no, 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 no. Girl, okay, get the good stuff, okay? This is what it looks like. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, and like, I just wanna say, I need to preference this to you. Seriously, when you take gummies, it's better for you to take a little bit. Like, I would just do half of this because one time <laughs> I had took gummies before and I was spinning around, girl, okay? Because the first time I took gummies, I did not know what I was doing. Or was it edibles? I don't know what, I think it was edibles. I think they had made edibles. And I did not know what I was doing and I ended up eating about four of them. Girl, let me tell you, I was full blown panic attack. Okay, I'm just saying. You, I'm already a go, go, go type person. So half the gummy is start off with pace yourself. Okay, next thing they got, which I think is the coolest thing. They have the HHC 500 MG cigarettes, no tobacco. And in the back, it tells you to recycle. It has their Instagram. It says from the earth, no additives, no BS made for you from us. Please recycle. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Open it up like this, very much that. Look at this, Ooh. I think you're gonna have lots of fun with this. So you have these right here. Again, that is HHC 500 mg. And then for those vapors out there, Vape Nation, they have you covered here too. And this is gonna be the HHC again. I'm gonna open it for you so you guys can see what this looks like. Okay, so. Here it is. Oh my gosh, you just, you know, put that in your little vape thing and you're ready to go. So, this is this is brand new, this is huge. HHC is huge right now. Of course, if you're not into HHC, head on over to Vance Global. They got THC, they have you covered. They have so many different variations of what you like over there on Vance Global. And you also get to check out their merch, check out the website, check out the diplomas of the ingredient list that they use. So check it out, I think there's something there 
for everyone on VanceGlobal.com. Check out their website. Support American businesses. Support Vance Global. I think you're really going to love them a lot. So thank you, Vance Global, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with this drama. I try to get on her. I report the news, but there's so much of it, okay? So it's not no secret that Selena Gomez struggles with a disease called lupus, which is sometimes caused inflammation and just a lot of pain. I had a friend of mine who had a lupus, and um, you know, she would say sometimes she was like in so much pain, she just wanted to lay down, she was tired, and some days she was like was really great and amazing, right? So according to the article, let me read it to you. It says this: Francia Rashia stop talking to Selena Gomez because Selena Gomez wouldn't stop drinking after she had given her a kidney, at least according to her ex-friend's dad, El Cucuy. Now listen, drinking alcohol, you just got a brand new kidney, wow, wow. Like you're literally given a second chance and here you are drinking. And listen, I know a lot of you are gonna be Team Selena. You love Selena Gomez so much. So you are, you're just gonna, bias aside, take that out of it for your own health. And listen, if Selena Gomez wants to do an eight ball cocaine and do this and do that, let her do it, it's her life. She wants to drink the house, let her do it, it's her life. She can do whatever she wants. With that being said, as Selena Gomez gets older, she's gonna, I mean, this naturally happens with people. As you get older, you just tend to like care more about your body than you did before. So Selena Gomez in this situation, they had this falling out. She lost a friend over apparently she wouldn't stop drinking. Well, I find it interesting here, um, and I don't need to defend Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez could defend herself, but this friend keeps talking, okay? This is the second instance that this friend has come forward and is playing into this Selena Gomez drama. And I'm, now I'm thinking like, well, are you really doing this out of the kindness out of your heart? Or are you gonna milk it, okay? Did you really intentionally become friends with her so that way you gave her a kidney and then y'all had this falling out because she's hitting the bottle? Let's just say she did it one time. That could have been an excuse for you to be like, oh, she's debating disrespect and just totally stop talking to her. And here you are again and again in the news talking about Selena Gomez. Is this what it was all about? Because it's starting to look like you're clout chasing, okay? I, and I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate here, okay? So I'm gonna read the article because it goes, you know, the receipts go as follows. Okay, from the top again, Francia Rocha stopped talking to Selena Gomez because Selena Gomez wouldn't stop drinking. Mm-hmm, well, at least according to her ex-friends, Dad El Cucuy. Now, El Cucuy, the famous Spanish radio host, mm -hmm, and father to Francia, went on a Spanish news show called Primero Impacto. Yes, with a girl, you, you already know, you already know. I have the hottest tea. You come here for all the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle, girl. Primero Impacto en vivo. You already know. Exclusivo. You, you, we have the exclusive right here. Okay. So for those who don't know, there's, there's a Spanish show called Primero Impacto. And I always say Primero Impacto Exclusivo en vivo. And it's just kind of like a, it's a, it's a drama show. It literally is a dramatization of, it's a very, very popular Spanish show too. But it's, it's a show where you get the tea. So here we go. El Cucuy, famous Spanish radio host, went on El Primero Impacto Exclusivo en vivo. Okay, about five months ago, and would, oh, I didn't know this, and wound up giving more context about what went down between the two ex-best friends. My thing is, right, did Francia tell this guy, go on the, like, here's what happened. Go on the show and spill the tea. Like, girl, Francia, if, if, if it is true, girl, get on camera and do it yourself. Because you already, you already are being dragged to the mud, even though you haven't really said anything about Selena Gomez. The fact that this is coming out, you're, it just looks bad on you. I'm just saying, because Selena Gomez fans, okay? So here we go, because there's more receipts. Now, now get credit to, the, credit to the Reddit and credit to the TMZ. Okay, during the interview, he was asked why his daughter wasn't included in Selena's highly anticipated docu-series, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me. Okay, here we go again. There was this documentary film on Netflix about Selena Gomez, and it was called My Mind and Me. Now, it details Selena Gomez's personal life. To me, it, you know, it just looked kind of fake. Some of it looked kind of staged here and there. 
But you know, it was supposed to help Selena Gomez and her PR, maybe boost sales and makeup, maybe people who don't really know Selena can discover her and be immersed into the world of Selena Gomez, okay. Well, in the documentary, they, they don't really give credit to Francia, her ex-best friend, or her ex-friend at that time, for uh, like enough spotlight about the kidney transplant and the organ and just how much of a great friend that Francia is. Instead, Selena Gomez mentioned other people in the industry are great friends. I think she mentioned Taylor Swift, I believe. So, you know, if you, if you had a, if my friend was Beyonce and we were best friends and Beyonce does a documentary film and when they ask her about who her best friends are, she starts naming everybody else, all these Lady Gaga and all the other people, which doesn't name me, I'm, I'll be kind of upset. However, however, I think that, because I watched the clip, right? How's everything going with uh, you and Selena? I know you and followed her. You still don't follow her. Are, are things good with you, with you guys? Sunday is so fun. <laughs> 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 oh, do you guys still talk? Um, it's a good day, isn't it? It's so pretty out now. I, I know, so isn't it? Last week. Uh huh. <laughs> do you guys talk at all? Uh, Would you are, you? are you willing to follow her back? Will you follow her back eventually? What kind of tree do you think this is? This is hiding on probably avocado. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do it again now with all the circumstances going on? I would definitely speak to someone again about organ donation and yeah. the process. The other day at the movies, I was with my friend Lily, and someone yeah. came up to me and said, hey, my friend is the one that you spoke to a few years back about her kidney donation. Yeah. She's really grateful. And I said, what's she doing? She said, well. And I said, great. And now, okay. for all of that is worth it. And I kind of feel like Selena Gomez was talking about people in the industry. Francia is not in the industry. She's behind the scenes type of girl. She is the friend, borderline assistant, okay? Maybe Francia thought she, she was a superstar. No, Selena Gomez, I'm sorry, but when Selena Gomez mentioned Taylor Swift, I already knew what she was talking about. She's talking about people who work in the industry, not my close friends at home who travel with me, whoop de whoop de whoop. So it just kind of felt like this girl again was chasing clout again. That's just my opinion. Because if you weren't clout chasing, then it really wouldn't matter if Selena Gomez said she was best friends with Elon Musk. Because at the end of the day, you're there for her. That's your friend. You're not in it for yourself. I'm just saying, okay, whatever. That's my opinion, and we can agree to disagree. Okay, so let me read you more because it gets deep. Okay, here we go. That's okay. Ooh, this is a juicy article. I gotta start from the top. During the interview, he was asked why his daughter was included, was not included in Selena Gomez's anticipated documentary, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me. He told the outlet it was no secret what happened between them and added that's just what happens with love, money, and fame. He then explained Selena and Francia had a disagreement when Selena Gomez was drinking. Apparently, Francia told her she didn't give her a kidney so she could go out and drink, causing stress on the organ. Now listen, where's my medical team at? Let me know in the comments, let me know in the comments, okay. Then, I'm a, hopefully we're throwing up this receipt so you can see it too. It goes like this, by the way, they used to be thick as thieves, having met when they were child actors. So much so, Francia donated her kidney to Selena Gomez in 2017 after hers failed due to the battle with lupus. However, things soon went left. Francia recently fielded a bunch of questions from a paparazzi about Selena, but she dodged almost every question. As a result, Francia later said she'd been dragged through the mud online and wanted it all to stop. Now we have a better idea of what went down and at least on Rosia's side, we've reached out to seeing the reps, not word back. And this is where I feel, if you watched my video, right? I'm literally team Francia, team Selena, team Francia. It's, it goes back and forth. Team, I'm just not saying maybe maybe that's the wrong team. I'm, I see like Chanel, I see both sides. Again, and I'm gonna say this, if Selena Gomez, if you really care about Francia and you see she's getting all this online hate, like happened to the that Hailey Bieber lady, Francia just needs to get on camera. Hey guys, as you guys know, my friend Francia. Oh, hold on. Can I get my Selena Gomez wig? Hold on, guys. We're gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna do the Selena Gomez. We're gonna do Selena Gomez moment, girl. Do we have Selena Gomez purse? No, that's a Tati Westbrook purse. Oh, Selena Gomez doesn't wear purses. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Selena Gomez, and you know I was gonna come on camera and talk about my new Rare Beauty liquid eyeliner today, but instead I decided to come on camera and talk to you about um, my friend Francia. And I'm gonna talk to you about Francia um, as I try my new liquid eyeshadows by Rare Beauty. 
and um, available now at Sephora and rarebeauty.com. So Selena has has said, you know, I mean Francia, it's my lupus, my lupus acting up. That's why I look so bloated. Francia has, you know, inadvertently got herself into some situations, and I just don't like all the negative comments they are sending her way. Please send her peace and love, and we're no longer friends, but please don't bully her, guys. You know, like she always does. Okay, and and scene. Okay, <laughs> but she doesn't do that. So I just kind of felt like. This is your chance, Selena Gomez, to stand up, be your friend, at least leave a heart on a video, leave a little comment somewhere on her TikTok, Instagram. But you let this happen. You let this drama happen. And honestly, I know you feel like she's using you for clout. So just nip it in the bud, give her the clout, and then drop some project, drop some drama, drop some product. People are gonna forget about Francia. And that's the thing, they were child actors. I'm sorry, but Francia is just not that big a star like Selena Gomez. I'm sorry. Sorry about it. Anyways, let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.